Welcome back to another episode of You've Got One Minute, where we get to interview a new Davis facilitator each month. This month, for the month of July, we are in Singapore again, which I'm super excited. And we are interviewing a fellow Davis facilitator, Christina Tang. Hi, Christina. How are you? Hi, Nadine. I'm good. Thank you. So exciting this month because Christina has a lot of hats that she wore or a lot of shoes that she wore, however I want to say it. Um, Christina is, has been, or is a lawyer. Uh, she is also studies, has a diploma in disability studies. She is a parent of a daughter who is dyslexic and a now for three years, I believe it's been three years, yeah, three years, entering into my fourth year. Fourth year, going on her fourth year as a licensed Davis facilitator in Singapore. So we're very excited to have you here, and I'm super excited about the question, because uh, wearing all of those hats, uh, your answer will be very unique, and you'll be able to offer the parents and anybody who's listening really cool, um, useful tools that they can move forward. Okay. So as usual, how it works is... Christina will have 16 seconds or 60 seconds to answer her question. This month's question is, parents can get quite lost when it comes to finding ways to cope with their children's learning different difficulties. What suggestions would you offer as a parent, lawyer, and now as a licensed Davis facilitator to help others process their journey with their young learners? So how it's gonna work is I am going to put my hand up when we can start. Well, you'll hear the question, Go ahead, start answering. I'll put up my hand and let you know when the 60 seconds are over. I'll then answer, ask a follow-up question and we'll go from there. Are you ready? Got you, yeah, sure. Uh, perfect. Okay, here's the question one more time. Parents can get quite lost when it comes to finding ways to cope with their children's learning different difficulties. What suggestions would you offer as a parent, as a lawyer, as a person who holds a diploma with disability studies and ADHD, ADD, dyslexia, dyscalculia, all of those things, and now as a licensed Davis facilitator, what would you offer the parents to help them cope with their journey on this process? All right, so I think the first thing would be um, acceptance. Acceptance is the starting point to helping our children um, in my case, once I accepted that there are issues, I can actually then search for a solution um, and put together a game plan. So that's how I approach the problem um, with my daughter. Um, I guess the next thing, I've, I find it very important to next um, be equipped with um, as much knowledge as possible about um, dyslexia. Um, and so I actually went and searched um, for a lot of information online to find out what dyslexia is, how is it happening and so forth. Um, and when you have the knowledge, I think you will be in a better position to decide, for example, um, whether a particular intervention program is going to work for my child and if so, how. Um, I like to answer all these questions um, so that I feel more uh, assured that I'm heading in the right direction. Um, I think as a last, oh, okay, no more time. <laughs> I have a great follow-up question, though. So that's wonderful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 60 seconds goes very fast. <laughs> very fast, isn't it? So my follow-up question is, uh, so in getting information for parents, where would you suggest, there's so many places to go, and um, where would you suggest a parent would could go and get reliable information um, that they understand? I, I think in terms of getting um, information is out there on the internet, but the problem is sieving through them and knowing what is applicable in your case. So for example, in my case, I was down to just basically uh, two main um, um, school of thought. And I had to then plot on and decide which of these two um, I find it more uh, suitable or it's in sync with what I'm seeing in my daughter. So that's how I approach it. And everyone approach it differently. Um, but a lot of the information out there, I have to say, it's just about what dyslexia is, what are the symptoms. But I was looking for something more than that. 
an explanation as to how it happens, why it happens, and is there any way to actually um, correct it, if at all? And um, and that was that was my goal, and uh, that was the premise in which I went about searching for the answer, and I found it, thankfully. And where would you say that you found most of your answers then? Well, I found it in the book, The Gift of Dyslexia. No doubt about that. That was, that was quite a life-saving saving book for my daughter and me. Absolutely. It was a life-saving book for me too. And I would have to say that my short answer to that question would be uh, The Gift of Dyslexia. Everybody else had yeah. things to talk about, but no one actually had answers. So... Yeah. Uh, all right. That's Anybody true. has any questions or comments and uh, would like to uh, ask us a question, just leave it in the comments and let us know. Thank you so much. We're going to give the world back their day. And thank you so much, Christina, for coming on. This was an amazing interview. And I know we've got a lot of uh, great tidbits in there for parents who are looking for information. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Nadine. <laughs> okay. For more information, go to international website at www.dyslexia.com In Canada at www.davascanada.org Contact Nanny Schumont, your licensed Davis Dyslexia Correction Facilitator at PicturePerfectLearningSolutions.com